plays double or nothing, double up to ten thousand, and that's oh my goodness, and just, just got him. Oh my god. Fuck. Yo, you guys are about to see the craziest shit ever, bro. Hit the subscribe button. Check out the pendulum match in the description below. Don't forget to comment below if you guys want to see a double or nothing Utopia double pendulum deck. So comment below if you guys want to see it. Enjoy the video. Jesse, you did it again. Jesse Cotton, my Game Nation teammate. Well done. Well done to you for creating the new best tech card in the game that you could basically throw into almost any single deck. Now, if you live under a rock the last few days in the Yu-Gi-Oh world, you missed out on it. And by other few days, I mean yesterday. What is this new tech card? Let me show you. Utopia fucking double. Now, for those who don't know what Utopia double is, and I don't blame you because honestly, I had no idea this card existed up until yesterday. But then I decided to tune in to the Nat stream last night. Well, the top 16 uh, Nash, uh, North American playoffs for who goes to Worlds. And then he pulls out, uh, Jesse pulls this card out. Let me read it for you. Quick effect. You can detach one material from this card, add one double or nothing from your deck to your hand. And then special summon a Utopia monster over it. Okay? So to add his monsters doubled, or its attack is doubled. But it can't attack directly, big deal, okay. So, it adds a, a double or nothing spell card, summon rank 4 Utopia over it, and it attacks 5,000. What happens next? Well, let me just show you what the madman did. Now, this madman, Jesse, he didn't just create this combo at a regional, a local, a YCS. This guy pulled this combo out with all on the line, not even on actual nets. He pulled it out the top 16 playoffs where the winner goes to Worlds. All's on the line, everything's on the line here. Pulls out the rabbit out of the hat and just watch what he did with it in the finals. Okay, this is if he wins this match, he goes to Worlds. If he loses this match, he doesn't go to Worlds, and his whole year of Worlds grinding's over. And this guy plays Striker out of all decks and does this. So Manav does the only thing that you should do. He reads the card because what the hell is Utopia a double? And then he proceeds to say, "Hey, you're gonna try to activate its effect? No problem, bro. I'm gonna negate it with Widowmaker because the Striker mirror match." And then Jesse laughs in ego boosters because the ego boosters it and it's unaffected hence summoning a utopia adding the double or nothing summoning a utopia over it and now jesse enters the battle phase with a 10,000 attack utopia because a double or nothing does is it boosts its attack by 5,000 it doubles its attack so the attack went from 5,000 to 25 to 5,000 to 10,000 and boom Game over. As I said, this is not no local, no regional, no YCS. It's not even the actual NAT. It's a top 16 playoffs with everything on the line. And Jesse, my boy, pulls this amazing tech out of a rabbit out of the hat, man. If you're playing Deco Rank 4, this is instantly a staple now. The new staple tech in everything. Alright? Jesse, I salute you, brother. Good job. And then the judge with really the only response he can. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, exactly. To his other judge friend. That's really the only spots you can do, bro. That's absolutely insane. Utopia Double is the new best tech card in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh! That unfortunately, thanks to Jesse pulling it out like a genius, everyone now knows. He didn't just pull it out once. You might think, oh, get one game. One game. You know, one game. Jesse pulled it out. I uh, kind of lucky, you know, one game, strikers. How many? You only play three level fours in striker, right? But then there's three ray, there's three field spell, there's two terraforming. So that's eight, eight already, because you're going to pop it with uh, however the hell many ways you can pop it. You play a bunch of MSTs in the deck, you play a uh, multi roll, which you search like infinity type of ways. And uh, Hayate always has, like, you could always, act, you're going second. So Hayate could just send the roll, you can always get it. You always have access to, one, to a field spell. Then you got the Rota that's 9, and then you steal a level 4 with Widow, you steal a level 4 with Shark Cannon. There's a shit ton of ways to do it, and don't forget, Hayate search it, searches it, right? Or uh, sends it from deck to add it, and then Kagari engage, all that. Unbelievably easy to pull off. Now, as I said, you might be thinking it's just, uh, eh, just random shenanigans, you're lucky to pull it off, right? And if I already did not mention this, it's not a local, it's not a regional, it's not a YCS, it's fucking top 16 the whole year of gr world's grinding for this time. He doesn't just pull it off game one. Here's game three. 
He goes double or Utopia again. Game three. Game three. He just lost game one. He won game two with Utopia combo. Game three, look at that. Utopia, battle phase. Boom, I'm going to Worlds. Handshake, baby. And boom, thank you, Judge. Best response right there. Another, I'm in the presence of greatness. That's the response of both judges. And that's the response that I have to that as well. Jesse, great job. I salute you, bro. I salute you. I love innovation like this. I can't, I've never even heard of this card before. And I'm on Dueling Book every day. That is absolutely amazing. Hands off to you, Jesse. Great job, man. Great job. Now the next question. The next question comes up. Can you really throw this card in any deck? Now, you could throw this. I'm adding this shit in Pendulums. Double or nothing Pendulums is coming soon. Bros, Utopia Double, absolutely remarkable. Jesse, I still can't believe you did this, man. I actually have... I'm in shock. I am actually in shock still. Uh, this is, will be posted the day one of Nats, but everyone already knows about it. Uh, it happened yesterday, but god damn, bro. Uh, wow. And I didn't watch the stream. I just tuned in at the end when there was... Like, the winner of this match goes to Worlds. And this guy... Wins two games with Utopia. <laughs> wow, that's absolutely amazing. Now, shout out our team, Game Nation. It is the best team in the planet. If you guys do want to support Jesse and Game Nation, my team, greatest team in the planet, use his link in the description below. For this video, I'm going to be using his link instead of mine in honor of this absolutely amazing play. I just can't believe it. Now, can you play this in Pendulums? Yes. Can you play this in Striker? Striker is the best deck to play it in because this guy thought he was going to negate it. Look at this. He thought... Right here, Manav thought he was going to negate it with Widow Anchor. And for those who don't know, Manav beat me uh, when I went to YCS Jersey. So I'm happy that Jesse beat him. I have no ill will against Manav whatsoever. But a little payback. A little payback. Fellow Game Nation teammate whooping him. And then, hey, you thought you were going to activate Widow? Jesse's like, nope. You're not activating Widow. Widow, no. Nope. Negate that. Now my card's unaffected. So Striker probably is the best deck to play this card in. Now I knew, I didn't know what first this would be able to work, but hey, I already know right now, Jesse's just crushing people. Everyone, man, try it for yourselves. Try it for yourselves, let me know, let me know. Try it for yourselves. Try it for yourselves. Try it for yourselves if you don't believe it's that good. I think it's amazing in Pendulum. I think it's amazing in Striker. I think even Orcus can play it. Now, Orcus are a good deck, but they do have trouble OTKing, okay? But they can make level fours like nothing. I think Orcas could play it as well. You get rid of all the hand tr all the you, you get rid of all the back row with Leo, and then I know where you keep the level fours, Jaguar, all that stuff in them. You get level fours like easy. No one sees it coming. Boom. Pendulums, one harmonizing equals Utopia double. Your whole you could you could waste all all your points interruptions on stopping Electrum before you pen summon, and then you pen summon, you just special two level fours and beat them. Like it's absolutely insane. I think this pendulums will be the best. I think it's striker number two. You can play in Salamander Grades. You can fucking you can play in Orcus. You can even play in Orcus, to be honest. With Brigandine, you can even play this shit in Orcus. Not Thunder Dragons, you can't, but I don't even know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. If your deck plays level fours, you better throw this shit in the deck. It is the new rank four staple and just a new tech and staple for literally every single rank four deck. And hey, Strikers isn't a rank four deck, but they make it work. So I'm still in absolute shock that this even happened. I didn't want to make a video on the Nats because it kind of hurts me that I'm not there. Can't lie. Sad face. But it does make me very happy to see that Yu-Gi-Oh! is Yu-Gi-Oh! Innovation is not dead. Now, Jesse took this uh, took this striker deck that the world had already seen. Everyone knows what's in a Sky Striker deck. You got three engages, you got widows, you got shark cannons, you got all this all that stuff. Everyone knows the deck. The, most striker decks are the exact same. But for it to come out like this, and you can throw this in a combo deck, fine. But for you to throw this in a deck like Sky Striker, where there is literally no innovation in the past year for Sky Striker, I gotta tip my hat to Jesse. So Jesse, good job, man. Guys, that's the video. Hit the subscribe button if you like the video. Smash the thumbs up button. Take the thumb, take, take the like button. All right, take the like button and give it a good kiss. All right, hit that like button. Comment below what you guys think of this video. I might be doing more discussion videos in the future. Let me know if you guys want more discussion videos. That's a video. Also, do check out Jesse's link in the description below to support him for creating this amazing tech. Now, see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.
Yo, I hope you guys liked the video. Hit the subscribe button if you like it. Hit that like button if you like it as well. And we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.